this video, I want to break down how to create a stop motion sequence in Final Cut Pro while also using the Panasonic G7. Now, if you did not know this, stop motion is actually individual pictures and you put the pictures together to look like the object or subject is moving. In this case, it's just a Lego um, figurine. A couple things you need to know about stop motion is Yes, it's time consuming, which means it takes a long time uh, to create a stop motion sequence as well as very uh, detail oriented, which just means it takes a long time and you have to make sure like the camera's on a tripod, the lighting is consistent because if you do one thing wrong, the entire sequence um, will get all messed up. Now the first thing I want to go over is the settings for your camera. Now all the settings have to be in the manual mode because if you it can't be automatic because the lighting and the focusing can't be it can't be adjusting while you're trying to create the sequence or else it's just gonna look really weird now like I said before it's picture so you want to put it in the manual picture settings on your Panasonic G7 or whatever camera you're using and I highly encourage you to use a 16 by 9 aspect ratio because that's the generic landscape um, portfolio or setting you could use a different aspect ratio, but uh, the 16 by 9 is the generic aspect ratio. You also want to put the setting in raw just because the image will look a lot sharper. A couple of things you want to do is you want to have the focus in the manual settings. Obviously, you can put your picture profile uh, whatever you want, but you want to put it in some sort of manual, like neutral or flat picture setting. A couple of the things you want to do is you want to have your aperture at least above five just because you want to make sure that everything is in focus if you have like an aperture two you might have some of the background will be a little bit blurry so a five aperture and you also want a low shutter speed highly encourage you to use um, like a 20 um, shutter speed ISO you want to crank the ISO down pretty low or else the footage will start to get a little bit grainy and those are just kind of the basic settings for the Panasonic G7 when you're shooting um, any kind of stop motion. Now how you create a stop motion is you want to obviously put the camera on a tripod because you don't want the camera to move whatsoever. Do not move the camera. If you move the camera the entire sequence will get completely messed up and you're going to have to restart. So basically what you're doing is you're having the camera on a tripod and what you're just doing is you're putting the object or subject in frame, taking a picture, then moving it like, I don't even know, like an inch or whatever, just moving it, moving it a little bit, taking another picture, moving it again, taking another picture. And you just keep doing that, I don't even know, like 30, 40 times, but you only want to move the object or subject just a little bit. You don't want to make a big jump. Like for example, you place the object down, and the next shot is you move the, the object like six inches. You want to move it just a little bit and try to keep it very consistent. What you're just doing is you're taking the object, taking a picture of it, then moving it a little bit, taking another picture, moving the object and taking another picture, and that's kind of how you create. As you can see, look, this picture, here's another picture, here's another picture, here's another picture. As you can see, I just kept moving it and then taking a picture. Now what you want to do is you want to use a remote shutter. You, I'm pretty sure you can find one on Amazon or B&H, but what I just did is I actually used a remote camera app on my iPhone and I took a picture uh, every time I moved it because what you want to do, like I said before, you can't move the camera. So you need to control the camera remotely because you can't, you cannot touch the camera whatsoever. If you touch the camera, you risk moving it. And then let's say maybe like the next shot I moved it and this little line right here got cut off. It's going to look really weird. So you want to control the camera remotely, either a, a remote camera app or a remote shutter because you cannot touch the camera. The camera needs to be on a tripod. You can't mess with the lighting. You can't touch the camera or else the entire sequence is completely messed up. So yeah, that's what you want to do. You want to control the camera remotely. So the, the basic things what you want to do is you want to make sure all the settings are in manual. You want to make sure the camera's on a tripod. You want to make sure the lighting is consistent and you want to use and you want to control the camera remotely. And that's basically how you create stop motion. Now I'll go ahead and show you how to create the entire stop motion sequence. As you can see, here are all of the pictures. Now what you want to do is you could just put it into Lightroom or Photoshop and edit them individually. I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to show you how to put it in Final Cut Pro. So what you want to do is I'm just going to select, I'm just going to try to select all of the pictures. So I'm just holding down the mouse, scrolling down and making sure I don't um, 
So as you can see right there, and then I think I can just press hold down command and press that and it should all work. Now what you want to do is you want to press W. There you go. You've imported all the clips. I'm pretty sure they're all there, but if one's missing, I'll fix it. But as you can see, there you go. I've just imported every single one of the pictures. Now what you want to do is you want to select all of the images and press control D and then press one, two, three, four. It basically just... Uh, it depends on how how long you want each of the images to hold. I think four is a very common one So you just press that and then Just press return or enter. So what I just did was I selected all the clips held down control Double uh, I mean control D control D and then pressed either one of these numbers one two three four or five It just the num the lower the number is it means the stop motion effect is going to go a lot faster the higher the number you select the slower it's going to go i recommend using um four or uh, three three four or five otherwise it's going to be too fast or it's going to be too uh slow so let's just press command plus and there you go as you can see right here E, hopefully as long as it works there you go see zero zero and then zero four so it should as you can see there you go it's all that way it lasts for the exact the same duration so let's play it through and see if it works and hopefully it's not missing anything so there you go as you can see there you go we just created a stop motion sequence let's go ahead and play it through one more time there we go, right there. The stop motion sequence is complete. I think that's a really cool effect. As you can see, that honestly didn't really take that long. It took about a couple hours to um, create this really cool effect. So again, what you want to do is you want to have your camera in the picture mode. Obviously, have all the settings in manual. You want a high aperture, a low shutter speed. Again, everything in manual. Put the camera on a tripod. Do not touch the camera. Do not adjust the lighting. Do not do anything. Once you have it all set up, don't touch anything. Use a remote a camera app on your phone or a remote, a remote shutter speed, a remote shutter, whatever it's technically called. Take the pictures remotely and just every after you take a picture, move the object, move, move the object, whatever you're doing, and just move it just a little bit don't move it a lot and then take a picture as you can see I moved it took another picture moved it again took another picture moved it again and that's how you create a stop motion sequence manual settings do not touch the camera use a remote way to remotely control the camera and then once it's in Final Cut Pro uh, import all the images into the timeline and then hold down control D and either probably press after you so hold down control D three four, and then press three four five enter now a four is probably the average you want to use anything anything higher than four it'll go way too slow anything lower than four it'll just go way too fast so as you can see let's just press play and there we go as you can see right there the stop motion sequence is complete just remember control d and then press whatever number however long you want the stop motion effect to be but anyways hopefully you enjoyed this video highly encourage you to go ahead hit that subscribe button i'm giving away a google home mini once i reach 1000 subscribers new final cut pro 10 tutorials every single sunday wednesday and friday anyways see you guys in the next one peace